So the first. Hookman with a nice pass to Heibolt. Shot off the glass, no good. Rebounded by the Warriors. And a foul on the rebound. Laura Heibolt committing her first foul. From the Mustang. Stipped out of it. Ben even has a. Pulse off. Nice pass inside to Claire Courtlever. She missed the layup, but she was fouled on the way. But here. Moment. Lesser. The other under the foul. All from the end. Good. 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 Still a real back quarter. And that. The other land. It's not by the B in second period. Here you go. Things again. Ashley Gorescally out arms. Must have come to half bound. Courtly makes very call and the Epidio gets the round so that a the rebound of the red floor. Throw it for Kirk Tank and the half. 19 a hype. Make her a small thing you've done. Don't know what that's Pass camp into Rumba Stadabon. A flush it'll be Warrior basketball through. Left in half, tied at eight. You can shake high. Be call. <laughs> Isabel jump chin. Eight Linda extra can beat. Warriors trying to work it around the horn, get it to Hireman, guarded by Highbolt. Stolen away there by Kylie Gherkin. Good good hand fill that passing lane. Gherkin trying to bring it across the timeline. Gets it to high bolt. And her pass to Jumbeck is stolen. Long pass ahead. Out of the reach of Court Lever. Can't get the handle on it. Miranda Dreesen checking in for Taylor Jumbeck. 357, no change in the score. 8-8. Eight eight. This first half. Warriors steal it on the inbounds play. They've been defending that inbounds play very well. Good defense all around. Warriors trying to work it all the way around the horn again. To Grotenheist to her left and now to inside to Court Lever. Who makes a good, good bucket there off of the layup? Hireman breaking up the pass before the before any action can ensue. The Sioux Center coach wants to call a quick timeout, so we'll be back right after this from TreeShell.com. When you need a case for your computer, TreeShell.com For your iPhone, iPad, and iPod, TreeShell.com When you need a case for your Kindle device, nobody makes one near as nice as TreeShell, TreeShell.com For elegant products made from wood, nobody makes them near as good as TreeShell, TreeShell.com Three steam and a tank bound basketball on the bounds Slot, sit at the time center, it passed yeah, hurry on that. Crowd did by all. Wrote in six. Hireman. Hireman. Sorry. Hireman. <laughs> to Groton Heist with it again. Hireman at the top of the key. Now to the right side. To Holshoff. Inside to Court Lever. Does a good job controlling that basketball and a basket or knee. We're laying. Highbolt working to break the pressure. Gets it across the timeline. Highball inside to Jumbeck, who hits a, a little six-footer from the right side of the basket. Nice left-handed turnaround jumper. 12 to 10. Warriors looking on the side. Number eight, Tommy Good. Roll with the left. And they did both. The sneak. No recovery. for the right team. A minute and left. Half a jumble into the run and down. She may lay or take put your closet. Kyrick Morgan, your man, for a thing behind. 
Picked up her dribble. Drops into the lane and hits it from 10 feet. 14-12 now, 16 seconds on the clock. Ball's tipped too high to handle. Had her shot blossom away. We're gonna have a trap back at a coach. And I've got a buzz over the bus team to Victor on. Very tight on the side. We'll uh, have a short beer and we'll be back this half after these messages. As a man of the land, you ask yourself tough questions, like if my auger could talk, what might he say? And as a man of truth and wisdom, I can tell you that when called upon, your auger might say something like, Gee, it sure is a nice day to move some green there, eh? Or aim a boot to shoot some green into that bin over there. And now you ask, why does my auger sound like a royal mounty? Well, that's because there's a chance you bought it from some fancy outfit in Canada. That's right, you may have unintentionally outsourced a piece of equipment that sits at the center of your operation, that transports your most precious cargo. Canada, a country that is not America. Now you know, I'm getting history and you fetch world-class Oxpobolaga right here in America's heartland. Tewa, Oxpobolaga, the word he... Plus Plum Heating provides service repair for water heaters, air conditioning systems, and heat pumps along with tight of plumbing. Caterers can scrape the water like a in front of the room of a big one. And that water to provide much more hot water, much longer, is a boarding ham. Attended crews for plumbing, that's staying in heat, no one's seven, six, one. Are you looking for more protection against bad weather hitting your crops than federal crop insurance alone provide? Otter Valley Insurance now offers total weather insurance, providing supplemental coverage against drought, excess moisture, heat stress, and fall freeze. And the program pays out automatically when bad weather hits. That means no paperwork and no adjuster coming out to your farm. Call Otter Valley Insurance at 712-475-3325 to learn more and get a free quote today. That's Otter Valley Insurance at 712-475-3325. Otter Valley Insurance and Real Estate in George. This is Craig Manson, branch manager of Security Savings Bank in George. Now is a great time to stop in and discuss our 2013 crop loans. We can help you make sound decisions about your farming operation for the upcoming year. I grew up on a farm and understand the challenges and benefits that go along with farming. I will take time to understand your unique farm operation and the situations you face. Our loans are approved locally by people you know. For help with your farm loans, count on Security Savings Bank of Larchwood, Inwood, George, and Canton. Member FDIC. Land County News is George, Iowa's hometown newspaper. Each weekly edition provides local and area news, all the school news and happenings, the TV guide, classified and box ads, and the Total Stop grocery insert. And community events notification and coverage is included as well. To subscribe, advertise, or inquire, reach them at 475-3351. That's Lyon County News in George. The Flower Box is Georgia's floral and gift specialty store. Stop in or call for fresh cut flowers and arrangements and gift items along with friendly service. The Flower Box, 133 North Main Street in George. Call 712-475-3396. And come on down to the Corner Cup for fresh brewed coffee and daily lunch specials. Choose from any of the delicious accompaniments to your favorite coffee drinks and enjoy the friendly, cozy coffee shop atmosphere. That's the Corner Cup on 149 North Main Street in George, 475-3610. Who has time to write out checks and pay bills? Simplify your life with online bill pay and email bank statements free from Frontier Bank. With a click of the mouse, you can balance your accounts, transfer funds, view your checks, and see current home listings. You can even apply for a home loan when it's convenient for you. What could be easier? With the help of online bill pay at Frontier Bank, you'll simplify your life. Frontier Bank with locations in George, Little Rock, Rock Rapids, and Sioux Falls. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Hello basketball fans, Jim McConnell here inviting you to dribble down to Northwest Consultants in George so we can pass along a quote to you on your insurance policies. We will screen our list of companies and then shoot you the best deal possible. We're sure you will jump for joy at the low cost and great coverage we can give you on your home, business, farm, auto, health, and life insurance. Give me or Vonda a call at 475-2610 or stop in and see us at our office in George where you can have all your insurance policies in one basket. Go Mustangs! Well, we're about 30 seconds from starting the second half. We want to thank all of our sponsors here at the GLR Radio Network for helping us bring this broadcast to you here this evening. This is kind of a bonus broadcast. This isn't really on the varsity schedule tonight, but... Um, these uh, freshman and JV girls um, need some radio exposure too. So we're gonna we're just having a great time bringing you this broadcast here tonight. It's 14 to 12 Warriors in the in the lead here in the first half, and uh, we'll see what kind of adjustments each team has made in the halftime. Fairly hurt in the court. Jennifer Eklund vital uh, has a good job to handle pressure. Has had a few points. Uh, Rack Muster got a player, Pat Hitter, no, and also, he the whole free throw away, go get back in a clay, no, sit, away, and then ready for the thing. It's Knox, but Gherkin gets it around, jump away, higher, 24, two roll, ask, ball gets it for the pussy ball. This round, back in, straight up, in, it's the pack, yeah. Shot and it trolled over, showed them free receiver. Missions are slated. I doubt the ball to come with a read. Good free by Ashley. Position and now by the skip balls. Not that them though. Who does it? What about Brigham's fifth? This night and back. What her cut across the book. Better all around the money. Fourteen. I tried all the key. She gets thrown down. Hell, I am in the re. Throw it straight right. And an over hacking. Oh, check that number thirty-two, Claire Courtlever. That's her second foul, I believe. Mustangs having a lot of difficulty in in bounding the ball with this pressure defense by the Warriors. Referees having a discussion about whose possession it is. And uh, <laughs> ball's knocked out of bounds by the last touch by the Mustang, so the Warriors will inbound it. So Grotenheis gets the inbounds pass, stepped on the line inadvertently. So now it'll be Mustang ball. Mustangs working hard to break this pressure. We're going to have a blocking foul. That's Court Lever. That'll be her third foul. So number 12, Katie Crumrein, going to have a seat. Tip ball again by Warriors, inbound to Hireman. And uh, Pamela Hireman is going to go to the free throw line. She missed the shot, got her own rebound, and the putback got fouled. So that foul is on. Schneekloth. So Hireman's free throw, up and good. Brooklyn's second foul. So Hireman with the second free throw. That one rattles out. No good. Highbolt with a good rebound. Dykstra was wide open, but the, the pass came up short to her. Stolen away by the Warriors, working it around their uh, perimeter. That shot is no good by Ashley Roll for the Mustangs control the rebound. Here comes Brooklyn Schneekloff. Good screen to her right and she's got a nice eight footer up and good. 
first points in a while. 3.02 left on the clock. Miranda Dreesen set to check in for the Mustangs at the next available break. Here's a sh shot from 10 foot. And it's no good, but there's going to be a foul on the on the uh, play. And that foul is on number 33, Ashley DeBoer. That free throw is no good by Ashley Rolk. Dreesen coming in for Jumbeck and Brianna Smith in for Brooklyn Schneekloth. Second free throw on the way by Rolk. It's no good. And we're going to have uh, last touched by the Warriors, so the Mustangs will inbound on the far end of the court. Maitland right Dykstra breaking the pressure. Good ball handling. Brianna Smith, quick shot up. No good. Very good ball handling by the Warriors. Quick touch pass by Court Lever ahead to Hireman. And uh, there's another another pass from Court Lever to Hireman. Court Lever gets the rebound. Put back is good, and she's fouled. So Warriors really having their way here with the uh, Mustangs on defense. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a full timeout by Coach Jenna Noble and Patrice Peters want to talk it over with the Mustangs. So we'll be back after this message from Country Boutique. Country Boutique in Rock Rapids is a full-service floral shop with everything you'd need from a romantic bouquet to home or office decorating for any season. They have an impressive selection of gift items for every budget, a framing gallery for photographs or paintings and memorabilia, a formal wear specialty store for weddings and proms and other formal occasions, and much, much more. Get an instant coupon worth $5 that you can use on your next visit by texting CB Flowers to 72727. Again, just text CB Flowers to 72727, and an instant coupon worth $5 off a qualifying purchase will be sent straight to your phone. That's the Country Boutique in Rock Rapids, Iowa. 712 472 3668. Yeah, and you really ought to. Text in that CB Flowers code to 72727. You'd really enjoy that uh, discount coupon on your next visit to Country Boutique. But um, if you don't take me up on that coupon deal, you ought to go check out Country Boutique anyway. Great selection of gift items, great floral shop, framing gallery, formal wear. They've got it all there at the Country Boutique. Mustang's working to bring the ball across the timeline. Brianna Smith. Gets it done. Bounce pass to Highbolt. Nicely done ahead to Dreesen. And Kylie Cruz shot up no good. The ball on the floor in the lane. And it comes out of the mix. We're going to have a jump ball called. And the possession arrow is going to favor Sioux Center. Miranda Dreesen and Brooklyn Schneekloff back into the mix for the Mustangs. Here come the Warriors. Katie Tegrotenheis <coughs> doing most of the ball handling across the timeline. Hireman driving left on the baseline. Nice pass to number 14. Jacqueline Holsoff missed the shot. Kylie Gherkin breaking the pressure going straight through the Warriors defense and there'll be a foul called on to Grotenheis, I believe. That might be her third, if I've got that right. So we're going to have a substitution, Katie Crumrine, in for to Grotenheis. Gherkin with the ball on the wing as she's fouled by Krumrein. That'll be her first foul, I believe. Fifteen foul, five on each side of the floor here. Ball's tipped away. And 
And uh, on the fast break, Ashley DeBoer is going to be called for a for a reach-in foul to stop that fast break. It's Ashley's first uh, foul this half. Third foul in the game. Jump ball on the ensuing possession, and the arrow favors the Mustangs. Durkin gets it across the timeline, gets it to jump back. Shot is partially blocked. Ball quickly ahead to from Ryan. Shot is no good. A good pass there quickly ahead from Court Lever. So here come the Mustangs. Tough pass gets it to Hireman. Hireman's tied up by two Mustangs and it'll be possession arrow in favor of the Sioux Center Warriors. 48 seconds left. Isabel Johnson going to check in for Laura Highbolt. Warriors number 12, Crumrine, is going to be called for a travel as she tried to move it around the perimeter and the passing lane was closed. Come back inbounds to Ashley DeBoer. Ashley to Schneekloth, the shot's up high off the rim, no good. Warriors with the rebound. And Ashley Rolk working to get it across the timeline for the Warriors. Hireman. Crumrine with it, guarded by Gherkin. Gherkin takes it away from her. There's a jump ball called possession arrow in favor of the Mustangs. Twelve seconds left. Mustangs will have to hustle to get some points on the board if they want to create anything. Here we're going to have a substitution here before we start. Court Lever coming out for the last twelve seconds. Brooklyn drives it in, off the glass, no good. And Sioux Center will come away with the rebound. Pass quickly ahead. Crumrine lifts it up off the, at the buzzer, and the shot is no good. So 26-17 after three periods of play. 26-17 in favor of Sioux Center after three periods. We'll be back right after this message from Warnchie's Paint and Body. Warnchie's Paint and Body in George, Iowa is your place for high performance refinishing at its finest. Keith Warnchie's and his team specialize in collision repair, glass replacement, restoration, towing, and even windshield chip repair. They're located at 103 North Sydney Street in George, Iowa. Call them today, 712-475-3307. That's Warnchie's Paint and Body in George. The Total Stop Food Store is Georgia's hometown grocery store. Not only will you find a complete selection of fresh produce, meats, dairy products, and groceries, but you'll find the kind of excellent friendly service that you'd expect from your hometown grocery store. See the fine friendly folks at your friendly hometown grocery, the Total Stop Food Store on Main Street in George, 475-2825. That's the Total Stop Food Store in George. Dykstra Chiropractic in George provides chiropractic services to relieve pain and stress and to help people live a happy, healthy life. Dr. Krista Dykstra works with children and adults to do chiropractic adjustments and uses a painless activator method in ultrasound. Her office hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8.30 to 5, and Tuesday afternoons along with Thursday mornings. Call for an appointment or information at 712-479-PRICK on North Main Street in Jordan or 753-990. And we're back to live action. There's a quick pass underneath to Grote Heist. Turner jumper up and good. Kylie Gert working brake pressure drives all the way down to the paint and there's going to be a fall on 
be zero. It's going to be her first foul. Courtlever quickly ahead to Hireman. Has it stolen away by Gherkin. 28-17 is the score. Highbolt with it at the top of the key extended. Pass to Jumbeck. Shot off the glass. Oh, good. Rebound controlled by the Warriors. To Grotenheis. Going to bring it up for the Warriors. Jensen roll because of their fans. Pass denied by uh, Court Lever to her teammate. There's a nice shot there. 30 17. We're going to have a foul call. That's going to put some Mustangs at the line now. We're going to have seven team fouls. So it's a one on one bonus. Brooklyn at the line now to shoot a one on one. That free throw is up and good. <laughs> Court lever coming out with four fouls now. <coughs> Krimrine in to replace her at this time. Second free throw up and no good. Blown dead off of the free throw did not draw iron so they blew the free throw dead there. Grotenheis working against Gherkin's backcourt pressure ahead to Krumrein st stolen away by the Mustangs. Good defense there by Jumbeck to block that pass and it goes out of bounds off of the Warriors. So. Gherkin working it across the timeline. Good hustle down in the corner by Schneekloth to track that down. Gherkin driving it into, nice pass into Heibold. Missed the shot and the foul is gonna be on the Mustangs. That's 17 fouls against the Mustangs now as well. So that's going to put Krumrein at the line. It's Katie Krumrein. You're shooting a one-on-one -on -one for the Warriors who lead 30 to 18. <coughs> Five minutes, 10 seconds left in the ball game. That free throw's up no good. Dreesen with the rebound. Dreesen and Jumbeck both in for the Mustangs at this time. Gherkin calling the play, getting it started. Schneekloth on the left wing. Highbolt at the top of the key. Gherkin inside to jump back. Turnaround jumper up and that's no good. But rebound by Highbolt. That shot's no good either. That shot was actually taken by Brooklyn Schneekloth who's going to be fouled in the process of shooting. So she'll have two free throws here. That foul is on to Grotenheis. It's her fourth. And Brooklyn's free throw is no good. DeBoer going to come in for jump back. Ashley DeBoer. Second free throw by Brooklyn. And it is no good. Rebound controlled by Warriors to Grotenheis with the pass quickly ahead to Hireman. Lost the handle but tips it back in. Crumrine with the put back. It's no good. And Brooklyn with position on the rebound. Fouled from behind by Pamela Hireman. It's Pamela's second foul on the on the night. Schneekloth at the free throw line again. The first one's up and good. Thirty to nineteen. She can cut the lead to ten here with the made bucket and does. Four thirty six now. The Mustangs working backcourt defense to see if they can stop the Warriors here. All tipped out of bounds by Gherkin. Quick hands on defense. 
Knocks it clear to the other end of the building. <laughs> Referee has to track it down himself. There's not another person on that half of the building. So, to Grotenheis, to Hireman, back to to Grotenheis across. Ball tipped out of bounds. It's off of the off the Warriors. Court Lever back into the mix. Gonna give DeGrotenheis a chance to sit down. And Jumbeck gonna come in for Ashley DeBoer. Jumbeck will inbound on the far end of the basket. Ball court. So Schneekloth break into pressure. High bolt with it on the top of the key. Pass inside to Dreesen, no good. Rebound by Jumbeck. Put back is good. So that cuts the lead to eight. So Warriors work it inside to Court Lever, back outside. We're going to have a foul called. And that's on Kylie Gherkin. It's going to put Holsoff at the line. So Jacqueline Holsoff will have a one and one. That free throw is no good. Rebound by Highbolt. The Mustangs get it into the hands of Gherkin to break the pressure and work it to Highbolt at the top of the key. There's a nice pass inside to Dreesen, and she hits a layup. That cuts the lead to six. The Mustangs working their their game plan to cut into this lead. Hireman has it. Now up to Court Lever. Hireman on the left wing. Thinks about a three. Thinks better of it. Pass it around the horn. Court Lever with it on the inside. It has it stolen away by the Mustangs. Quickly ahead to Schneekoff, loses the handle, and and the Warriors with it. Gherkin tips it out of bounds again. So we're going to have a timeout by Sioux Center, a full timeout. We'll hear from the Hair Hut and another sponsor right after this. The Hair Hut is a full-service hair salon with services from haircuts to color, perms to nails, and more. Angie McConnell is there to help with all your hair care needs at 105 South Main in George. Call her today at 475-3375. A great place for a hair affair. The Hair Hut in George. When you need a case for your computer, treeshell.com. Or your iPhone, iPad, and iPod, treeshell.com. When you need a case for your Kindle device, nobody makes one near as nice as treeshell, treeshell.com. For elegant products made from wood, nobody makes them near as good as TreeShell, TreeShell.com. TreeShell.com. Special thanks to our sponsors, TreeShell.com. Fine cabinetry for your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod, your Kindle device. Elegant, unique protection for electronic devices. TreeShell.com. 2.52 left. Mustangs have been working diligently to cut into the lead by the Warriors. They've got it down to a six-point lead, 30-24. to 2.52 left in the matchup. Court Lever to inbounds. Gets it to Tigrotenheis, guarded by Gherkin. Hireman with it across to Holsaw. The right wing. Rolk with it. Inside, ball's tipped back out to Rolk. To Grotenheis. Fouled by Gherkin. Stops the clock with 224. We're going to have a one and one opportunity. So Katie to Grotenheis will be at the free throw line shooting a one on one. That one's up and good. So earns the bonus. Gherkin with four fouls takes a seat. Brooklyn 
Schneekloth in for the Mustangs. 2.24 left. To Grotenheis, second free throw, no good. Jumbeck with it. Ashley DeBoer puts it across the timeline. Working it to Highbolt, tries a three pointer, no good. Jumbeck tracks it down for the Mustangs, and she is fouled. And that is the tenth team foul. That'll put Jumbeck at the free throw line for a for two shots. So that foul is on number twenty-two. Ashley Rolf and Jumbeck hits the front end of a two-shot opportunity. Thirty-one twenty-five. That second one is up, and it is no good. Blown dead on the missed free throw as it did not draw iron. So here come the Warriors. Two minutes, 12 seconds left. Court lever inbounds to Grotenheis. Mustang is trying to pressure the, the ball on offense here. There's a tip ball, controlled still by the Warriors. To Grotenheis with it. Over to Holzoff. Holzoff driving to her left. Shot's no good. Mustangs can track down the rebound. There's a good rebound there by Courtlever. Mustangs had it, but lost the handle, and Court Lever came up with it under the basket, put the shot up, and it was good. 33-25, long three-pointer shot, and a ball off of Dreesen, out of bounds, so it'll be Warriors basketball. Center running it, pulling it back out, and number 22, an uncontested shot from eight foot, hits it, putting the Warriors back in charge by a 10 point lead. Schneekloth driving it down to the baseline, gets it to Jumbeck, guarded by Court Lever. Schneekloth driving her to her right, gets it inside to Dreesen, shot up off the glass, no good. Jumbeck with a good put back up and in. 42 seconds, eight point lead for the Warriors. Jumbeck steals the ball ahead to Schneekloth. Gonna have to drive it quickly ahead. Gets it to Highbolt. He's got an open three. Shot is no good. Rebound controlled by the Warriors. And Laura Highbolt will be called for a foul. That'll put number 22, Ashley Rolk, at the line to shoot two. Clock is stopped with 25 seconds. Kylie Gherkin set to check in at the next available opportunity. And that will be now. Brooklyn is going to come out and Kylie is in. 25 seconds. First free throw was no good by Rolk. Second one's on the way and that one is good. At 36-27. 25 seconds left in the matchup. There's Highbolt trying to three. That shot is no good. It's out of bounds off of the Mustangs. Good open look there by Highbolt. She can really light it up from out there, but she didn't hit that one, but she's going to have to keep shooting. Grotenheis gets it across the timeline. Three seconds left. And the Warriors, number 24, Kelly Barrera, was in for the final seconds. Tried a shot at the buzzer, no good. 36 27 is the final here. 36 27. So in that fourth quarter, it was 10 points apiece for the Warriors and the Mustangs. So we'll be back after a after a break to bring you the JV matchup. We'll have uh, 
um, a short breather here and we'll come back live for that matchup after these messages. Ben's Plumbing and Repair in Little Rock is a full-service, licensed plumbing contractor. Whether you're working on a brand new construction site, a remodel, or just need some repairs on existing plumbing for residential or commercial property, Ben's Plumbing and Repair is who to call at 712-348-5555. Ben even has a camera that can detect plumbing problems and diagnose issues from the inside of your pipes. See a great video of Ben Eikens, the owner of Ben's Plumbing and Repair, on our sponsor page and give him a call at 712-348-5555. That's Ben's Plumbing and Repair in Little Rock. Corner Service in Little Rock is the place to go for all your vehicle maintenance needs. From oil changes to overhauls, get a set of new tires or even wiper blades to help with visibility. Let the professionals at Corner Service keep your vehicles running smoothly all year long. Their service station is located at 415 Main Street in Little Rock, and they can be reached by phone at 712-479-2794. That's Corner Service, Main Street in Little Rock, 479-2794. As a man of the land, you ask yourself tough questions, like, if my auger could talk, what might he say? And as a man of truth and wisdom, I can tell you that when called upon, your auger might say something like, Gee, it sure is a nice day to move some green there, Reem. Reem a boot to shoot some green into that bin over there. And now you ask, why does my auger sound like a royal mounty? Well, that's because there's a chance you bought it from some fancy outfit in Canada. That's right, you may have unintentionally outsourced a piece of equipment that sits at the center of your operation, that transports your most precious cargo, Canada, a country that is not America. Now you know, and now next time you get it right. Because Sudengay Industries manufactures the world-class Ox Portable Auger right here in America's heartland, George, Iowa. Ox Portable Augers from Sudengay. There's work to do. The Ox. Mustang Plumbing and Heating provides service and repair on furnaces, water heaters, air conditioning systems, and heat pumps, along with all types of plumbing. Speaking of water heaters, Brandon and his crew replaced our water heater last winter for us, and the prompt and thorough service he and his team provided was very much appreciated. And now we have a water system that provides much more hot water much longer, which is a very important thing in our family. Contact Brandon Cruz for your plumbing and heating needs. That's Mustang Plumbing and Heating, 101 Main Street in George, 475-2661. This is Craig Manson, branch manager of Security Savings Bank in George. Now is a great time to stop in and discuss our 2013 crop loans. We can help you make sound decisions about your farming operation for the upcoming year. I grew up on a farm and understand the challenges and benefits that go along with farming. I will take time to understand your unique farm operation and the situations you face. Our loans are approved locally by people you know. For help with your farm loans, count on Security Savings Bank of Larchwood, Inwood, George, and Canada. Member FDIC.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the GLR Radio Network. We're getting ready to begin within the next 60 seconds or so. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's broadcast of the GLR Varsity Basketball Doubleheader. I'd like to thank our sponsors for bringing us here to bring this broadcast to you. If you'd like this broadcast, we'd like you to thank our sponsors, too. As always, we'll do our best to bring you the live action, and we'd ask that you tell a friend or two. Our web address is www.youcanhear.us slash GLR. That's right, you can hear us on www.youcanhear.us slash GLR. Find us on Facebook.com slash GLR Radio, or get our free radio app on your phone by texting GLR to 72727. If you'd like to use your phone to dial in and listen, simply dial 619-550-0711, and we'll come right through the phone to you. Thanks again for tuning in. We hope you enjoy tonight's ball games. You're listening to the GLR Radio Network. Country Boutique in Rock Rapids is a full-service floral shop with everything you'd need from a romantic bouquet to home or office decorating for any season. They have an impressive selection of gift items for every budget, a framing gallery for photographs or paintings and memorabilia, a formal wear specialty store for weddings and proms and other folk, and much more. Get an instant coupon worth $5 you can use on your next by texting CB Flowers to 72727. Again, just text CB Flowers to 72727, and an instant coupon worth $5 off a qualifying purchase will be sent straight to your phone. That's the Country Boutique in Rock Rapids, Iowa, 712-472-3668. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here live at the Sioux Center High School Auditorium. We're having a little bit of a debate here in the huddle about which players are going to be playing, but uh, it's going to be a good good matchup, a JV matchup. Um, contrary to popular beef, this is not on ESPN tonight. <laughs> But we are uh, glad to bring you this live action tonight. It's a uh, minute and a half. Uh, second, our a freshman game, the uh, center won. They won at 36-27. Uh, we're going to have a GV matchup now that uh, these two teams are, uh, I believe it's their first meeting of the season, uh, the GV side of it. And uh, it's a Tuesday night here in Sioux Center. It's, uh, um, it's about 20 after 7 on the on the uh, wall clock and about a minute from getting started. So we'll be back right after this message from Otter Valley Insurance. Are you looking for more protection against bad weather hitting your crops than federal crop insurance alone can provide? Otter Valley Insurance now offers total weather insurance providing supplemental coverage against drought, excess moisture, heat stress, and fall freeze. And the program pays out automatically when bad weather hits. That means no paperwork and no adjuster coming out to your farm. Call Otter Valley Insurance at 712-475-3325 to learn more and get a free quote today. That's Otter Valley Insurance, George. So we're about set to this one off. Seven minute quarters here. 28 total minutes of basketball. Mariah Terhark will uh, jump center against Shelby Vandenberg. And uh, there's not a lot of pomp and circumstance here. It's Mariah Holstein in and number 44, Caitlin Van Ravensway, who gets the tip and quickly finds a hit of it's a shot. J.C. Johnson bringing it up for the Mustangs across to Mia Graham. Mia Graham pass ahead to number 51. It's Mary Stratman, I believe, that's in the matchup for the Mustangs. The ball's tipped. Mia Graham comes out of the mix with it. Turns to her left. Gets a good shot and a made basket and a foul. Foul. Uh, foul. And Mia Graham with a made basket and a throw opportunity. So, hey, good. Number like the number one, Hilly's. Rear hit around. There's 
Flash pass down Lennon's way. She's fouled in the lane. The first foul on Red Park, I believe. Inside the Van Raven's way. Shots up no good. Schneekloth with the rebound. So J.C. Johnson working to clear the pressure, driving it all the way down to Grant uh, Pass inside to Stratton. Out to <laughs> J.C. Johnson. A good shot to go. The rebound is controlled by Van Ravens. The Warriors. 5-11 left on the clock. Good defensive pressure by the Mustangs. It's four with the shot. No good. Shelby Vandenberg was well defended there. And for third, five, four steps. Breaks with the Kelly Mustangs. Uh, the ball. And to break the pressure on yeah, yeah, good strike, and that'll be a foul on Stratman. So uh, powerful there, but it hurt for us getting a jump thing. Stratman, for Holt, shot the king. I believe that Mariah Holt hits Edison thing to break pressure to cry again. Feed from Hanning to Gray and I for beyond. Raven they try the shot from the right, so no good. Terhark with the rebound. Mia Graham working across the timeline gets it to J.C. Johnson. J.C. drives it down to the wing, gets it back to Mariah Terhark. No good. J.C. Johnson with the rebound. Pass across. Pulling a worry. Two lost out of bounds off of the Mustangs. Mia Graham had the ball and went on her knee out of bounds. So, the Wizards left their own ass. Sit there. Take a good Terhark. Harry for a time. Had a hitting to die. That's no good. Up to me by Jumback. So Taylor Jumback with some early contributions here. To Grotenheis with a three pointer. Rattles out. No good. Rebound by the Warriors. There's an 18 footer. No good. Number 30 into the lineup. For. I don't see. Who's number 30? Same. Graham tries a three pointer that's no good. She rebounds, so Mustangs will ball to the far back. It's Mustangs 55. It's a Clark. Ahead to Turhark. Shot up, no good. Warriors control the rebound quickly ahead to Grotenheit. A tough long pass. And here's Clark working to break that pressure. Gets it to Turhart to Graham. Break it for the Mustang. Good defense to Graham. It's Graham. Causing all kinds of headaches. The pass going away by Warriors. Gets it pass. Goes on to four. To Grotenheit with a nice, nice bounce pass. That's Aver who misses the shot and a frustration foul committed. Can have some substitutions. Clark can come out and JC Jensen back in for the Mustangs. Inbounds pass to Highbolt from Jumbeck. Mia Graham with it across the timeline. Has it stolen from behind. Clavering got lost a handle out of bounds. <laughs> Kylie Gherkin in for Laura Highbolt. So here comes the inbounds pass to Turhart. Sky and catch. Mia Graham passes inside is tipped away. Mia behind. Must pressure the pass ahead to Jumbeck and she hits it. Good pass from Mia Graham way underneath the basket. Jump hits four minutes to first. Claiborne get driving the baseline. She's going to be fouled on her way to the basket. To the Santee foul. No shots. Raya Holstein, Holstein to inbounds. With J.C. Johnson coming out and... Danny Beacon into the lineup for the Mustangs. The Grotenheist tries an 18 footer, rattles out just about good. 
and commits a foul on the rebound. Again, Mustangs with position on the rebound. So Kylie Gherkin to inbound the ball. Gets it to Terhart. Has it stolen away on her left. That's a good steal and a good conversion by Van Z. Warriors defending the inbounds pass. Have tipped it out of bounds. Lexi Van Z guarding Kylie Gherkin. With another tip ball. So they're going to give it to Jumbeck to inbound. Jumbeck a little taller, has a little little better chance to get that inbounds. Mia Graham with the catch, and she's fouled by Mariah Holstein. It's five team fouls on the Warriors, only three on the Mustangs. 44 seconds left in this first period. So Jumbeck inbounds it to Gherkin. Works to break the pressure, gets it across the timeline. Mia Graham. It's a pass inside to Mariah Terhart. Very good pass. And lobbed it up over the defense. Terhart can really catch those high passes, does a good job reeling it in and scores. Kylie Gherkin going to commit a foul, and that is to Grotenheis driving the baseline. And she got the two. Line. Quick move a catch and got herself baseline and was fouled. So 19 and a half seconds left. The first free throw is up to no good. So Emily to Grotenheis, second free throw on the way, and that is good. Cutting the lead to seven, 14-7. Mustangs early on, 17 seconds. And a pass, lost Mustang ahead. Number three, third, mid enough. That's in the third. With the putback. That foul on Mia Graham. That's the fifth team foul for each squad. Underneath Claveringa to Van Z. Right wing. Pass underneath. It's going to have the time will expire before the possession can change. There was a almost a jump ball called. We're going to have wholesale substitution here by the Mustangs. Maddie DeBeer, Madison Henning, Miranda Dreesen. Period here. It'll be interesting that coaching staff can execute here through their players. We have time for just a quick break here from the Total Stop Food Store. We'll be back right after this message. The Total Stop Food Store is Georgia's hometown grocery store. Not only will you find a complete selection of fresh produce, meats, dairy products, and groceries, but you'll find the kind of excellent friendly service that you'd expect from your hometown grocery store. See the fine, friendly folks at your friendly hometown grocery, the Total Stop Food Store on Main Street in George. 475-282. That's the Total Stop Food Store in And we're back live action here. Sioux Center with all inbounds. Get into their front. And number two. That's Haley Sitzman with a three-point shot. J.C. Johnson, Madison Henning, Maddie DeBeer. Mary Stratman and Miranda Dreesen all in for the Mustangs. 14-10 after that made three by Sioux Center. The pass inside to Stratman. Dreesen with a pickup off the ground, turns around and the shot she put up is no good, but she is fouled in the process of shooting. So she'll be at the line shooting two here. Just 29 seconds gone in this second period. Free throw on the way, it rattles out. No good. Second free throw up, and that one is good. Five point lead for the Mustangs, 15 10. And number 20 commits an unforced error, a double dribble. 
in the backcourt. So the Mustangs with the ball. Madison Henning. She's going to be called for a foul. Or not a foul, a travel rather. As she could dribble. So the Warriors with a quick play ahead to number 34. Nice move down onto the baseline. Number 34. Shot by the Mustangs, no good. Here comes Raven's way. Pass out of reach of uh, number 34. I'm going to have to ask this guy here. Beaver. Bring number 34. She's not on my list here of players, so I had to ask the comma. Right. Running. Hustling down and turns the stop. And because of it, a travel. Very slowly. Madison Henning. So 15-12. Henning lost the handle on the inbound play. A jaw. One position. Uh, Arrow will favor the thing going to come out. Have uh, JC Johnson coming out. Laura Highbolt and Ashley DeBoer both into the matchup for the Mustang. Here's 34. Madison Beaver shot no good, but the putback is no good. That'll be a foul on Ashley DeBoer. Shot is up and good off the free throw line. Ben Brun shot up pretty. To bat the left thing. Strength. Yes, it blew up. Good ink to Japan. Nailed. So Hang really putting on a uh, offense here for the Mustangs. Raven get out to uh, number 20. Excellent feed to Haley Sitzman. That's her second three pointer. And Van Z with the steal and the made basket on the inbounds class. We're going to have a full timeout here by the Mustangs. They uh, have had their lead cut to work not sit north. Half a year to dress all week long. We come to us. We'll up joke the law and cover your whole sorrow. And let your valet for spot choose one. Stop in or you can shawl in the basket. The Mustangs. Box drawer lint to the door. The call for cut rate and daily service. The flower box, 33 North Main Street in George. Call 712-475-3396. Into the cup and shoes to lift your coffee office on 159 Street door. 56. We're back. Brown ball. And a coffee. Man, you're following. Cross the game bus play. The man half drive a running ball. Where you not to cling it? Sit on three by three. Got it by Mustangs to back out. So Madison Henning, Maddie D. Work on two back ball to Bears. Got up to the oh touch right. Matt, hold on. I So to grow as you do. First one is up and good. Free throw is so they try and bound ball and have it stolen about the whole team. That's gonna Holstein at the line for a bonus. First one will rebound by back. Ben Z breaking up the play. Maddie DeBeer coming up with it off the loose ball. Across the timeline. Maddie cut all the way to this line and she is fouled. Perhaps a free line we shoot. And the seventh foul against the Warriors. So both teams in the bonus the rest of this. Here's 20. Maddie DeBeer. Free three C. Beer. Don't worry. Wall from. She's not underneath. It breaks the pressure across high so now we with the steal. Pass quickly ahead to number twenty. Sitzman for another basket. She's got two threes and a two. See 
walking it all the way down to the basket. Her shot is no good. Defended well there by the Warriors. Oh, what a pass by Tegrotenheis. Good pass underneath from Tegrotenheis to Madison Beaver. There should, there's a foul that should be free throws now. Madison Beaver at the free throw line will be shooting a one and one. There's no bound control to Mike Stumbeck with the rebound. And a beer, a tall shot, no good. A work up down. Lavering drives it out line, and she is fouled as she shoots an eight footer. The shot's no good. And that foul is on Madison Henning. So, first one is no good. Tubbin on the clock. 11 point lead for Sioux Center and now 12 on the made basket by Beaver. Inbounds pass defended well by Sir Tip of Ottawa Ama for Sioux Center will have a turnover. So here comes the inside flavor at round jumper no good. Be with the rebound. Pass underneath the Tegroten ice. Gets a shot up and rolls it in. Good Thursday. Emma Brotis. We're going to have a timeout called. So a 14 point lead here for Sioux Center. We'll be back after this message from Dykstra Chiropractic. Dykstra Chiropractic in George provides chiropractic services to relieve. Dykstra. Dykstra Chiropractic in George provides chiropractic services to relieve pain and stress and to help people live a happy, healthy life. Dr. Krista Dykstra works with children and adults to do chiropractic adjustments and uses a painless activator method in ultrasound. Her office hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8.30 to 5, and Tuesday afternoons along with Thursday mornings. Call for an appointment or information at 712-475-3990. Learn the power of prevention and make great health a cinch. Visit Dykstra Chiropractic on North Main Street in George, 475-3990. And the Mustangs get it inbounds this time. Madison Henning gets it across the timeline quickly. And DeBeer will set the offense. Drives it to the left wing. Stratman with it, down to Henning, drives it inside the lane, no good. Good open shot and did not convert. Here come the Sioux Center Warriors quickly ahead. Shot is no good. Taylor Jumbeck with the rebound and I believe she is fouled. In the uh, process of rebounding, no good by Taylor Jumbeck. Pass quickly ahead, tipped by Samantha Clark. Good defense ball on part of that. Since it ain't half off the bottom. So Warriors will their back court. Can they make in the Warriors? Pass on to Beaver. Grotenheist with a three-pointer that looked out down. And foul put back. And all to him. Be her first foul. Here comes Madison Rolo. Vazik. See the little place. Throw in that route out and real bust. Well defended there, right? Lexi Van Zee almost came up with the steal. It rattled out of bounds off of her outstretched arms. There's another tip ball. That's tipped off of uh, the Mustang. So the relentless defense in the backcourt by the Warriors reward with the basketball. So even inbound. It's it to Sitzman. J.C. Johnson. It's off of last touch by Johnson for the Mustangs. Out of bounds. Ben Z with it on the right wing. Takes it all the way to the house. Up and off the glass and good. Good. 
inbounds to pass to Clark. She's got it in the backcourt, working against pressure on. Gets a bounce pass across. J.C. Johnson. And the Mustangs are going to be called for a 10-second delay. They're not getting the ball across the midcourt in time. So backcourt pressure by the Warriors earns them the basketball. 16 seconds left in the half. There's a steal by Madison Henning. Come back five seconds left. <laughs> Henning tries a long three at the buzzer. It's no good. So the Halftime score is 33-16. So 33-16 after two periods of play. We'll be back after these messages. The Total Stop Food Store is Georgia's hometown grocery store. Not only will you find a complete selection of fresh produce, meats, dairy products, and groceries, but you'll find the kind of excellent friendly service that you'd expect from your hometown grocery store. See the fine friendly folks at your friendly hometown grocery, the Total Stop Food Store on Main Street in George, 475-2825. That's the Total Stop Food Store in George. Land County News is George, Iowa's hometown newspaper. Each weekly edition provides local and area news, all the school news and happenings, the TV guide, classified and box ads, and the Total Stop Grocery insert. And community events notification and coverage is included as well. To subscribe, advertise, or inquire, reach them at 475-3351. That's Lyon County News in George. The Flower Box is Georgia's floral and gift specialty store. Stop in or call for fresh cut flowers and arrangements and gift items along with friendly service. The Flower Box, 133 North Main Street in George. Call 712-475-3396. And come on down to the Corner Cup for fresh brewed coffee and daily lunch specials. Choose from any of the delicious accompaniments to your favorite coffee drinks and enjoy the friendly, cozy coffee shop atmosphere. That's the Corner Cup on 149 North Main Street in George, 475-3610. Hello basketball fans, Jim McConnell here inviting you to dribble down to Northwest Consultants in George so we can pass along a quote to you on your insurance policies. We will screen our list of companies and then shoot you the best deal possible. We're sure you will jump for joy at the low cost and great coverage we can give you on your home, business, farm, auto, health, and life insurance. Give me or Vonda a call at 475-2610 or stop in and see us at our office in George where you can have all your insurance policies in one basket. Go Mustangs! Ben's Plumbing and Repair in Little Rock is a full-service, licensed plumbing contractor. Whether you're working on a brand new construction site, a remodel, or just need some repairs on existing plumbing for residential or commercial property, Ben's Plumbing and Repair is who to call at 712-348-5555. Ben even has a camera that can detect plumbing problems and diagnose issues from the inside of your pipes. See a great video of Ben Eikens, the owner of Ben's Plumbing and Repair, on our sponsor page and give him a call at 712-348-5555. That's Ben's Plumbing and Repair in Little Rock. Corner Service in Little Rock is the place to go for all your vehicle maintenance needs. From oil changes to overhauls, get a set of new tires or even wiper blades to help with visibility. Let the professionals at Corner Service keep your vehicles running smoothly all year long. Their service station is located at 415 Main Street in Little Rock, and they can be reached by phone at 712-479-2794. That's Corner Service, Main Street in Little Rock, 479-2794. 
It's going to be hard for you to ignore this ad, because my voice is incredibly resonant and distinguished. It rings loud and true, and it makes you want to buy one of whatever it is that I am. But honestly, I'd rather you ignore my inspiring vociferations. I'm better when left alone, to do my exceedingly important task, to toil, to labor, to do the work of several hundred automated shovels. I am Ox Portable Auger. The Ox. And there's work to do. Sounds mighty loony to me. But I got a great $5 coupon just by texting CB Flowers to 72727. That's right. $5 off my next qualifying purchase at the Country Boutique. Just for texting CB Flowers to 72727. It's as simple as that. What a great deal. Get yours today. And we're just about to be underway here for the second half of the JV matchup between Sioux Center Warriors and GLR Mustangs. We're here at Sioux Center High School Gymnasium. And in the first half, Sioux Center has a handy lead, 33-16. to 16, And they outscored the Mustangs by 26-2 to 2 in that second period. So that makes it pretty tough. Uh, to keep pace when you're getting outscored by that margin. So let's see what happens here in the third period. Let's see what adjustments have been made in the uh, halftime huddle. Sioux Center quickly underway. Sitzman with it. Tip pass. Mia Graham back into the lineup for the Mustang. Here, here's a steal by the Mustangs. Mariah Terhark crossing the timeline to Madison Henning Henning to Graham and now the Mustangs will try to set up for their offense Mia Graham crossover down to Mariah Terhark driving baseline it's to Henning the shot up and that's no good but she'll be shooting two free throws that foul is on Number one zero, Emily to Grotenheis, I believe. Henning's free throw up and good. Second free throw on the way, and that rattles out no good. Terhark with the rebound, though. Good. Hustle on the rebound, and that'll be a jump ball. And the possession arrow favors the Mustangs. Here, here's the inbounds play. Inbounds pass to Terhark. Turnaround jumper, no good off the glass. Rebound controlled by Sioux Center, and the pass quickly ahead over out of the reach of number 24. Shelby Vandenberg, so out of bounds, Mustangs with the basketball. Mia Graham ahead to Mariah, or to Madison Henning, rather. Henning to Mia Graham. Lost the handle, and it's out of bounds. Off, last touch by the Mustangs. Ben Raven's way in for the Warriors to Grotenheis into the lineup. And Sitzman will take the inbounds pass to Grotenheis ahead to Van Ravensway. Drives it in to the lane, dishes it off to Claveringe, who is fouled in the process of shooting. 5.49 on the clock. 33-17. Warriors with a 16-point lead. And Claveringe will try to extend that lead and does with a made free throw 34-17 and that second one is up and also good so 
Henning with a pass quickly ahead to Stratman. Shot up off the glass and no good. Quickly defended. Well done by Sioux Center to get back to defend that fast break opportunity. Now transition. Sitzman's shot is no good. Clavengay gathers the rebound and turns around and is fouled by Mia Graham in the process of that putback. So she'll be at the free throw line shooting two as she was in the process of shooting when she was fouled. So there's a made free throw there, 36-17. The second one is also good. Mustangs get the ball inbounds. Madison Henning ahead to Stratman who puts a nice shot up off the glass and good quick transition basketball by the Mustangs. Pass ahead to nicely done by uh, Warriors number 34 and we've got a injury timeout here. Mary Stratman walking off on her own power, but I think she may have tweaked her left knee. So she is off on her own power, which is a good sign, but that's going to put uh, the Laura Heibold into the match for the Mustangs. And the inbounds pass to Henning, and she traveled as she had nowhere to go with it. Nobody uh, made a passing lane, and she had nowhere to go, but had committed to a direction. So, Grotenheis into Claveringa, turnaround jumper up and good from 8 foot. So, 41 19 now for Sioux Center. Claveringa is stealing the ball on the fast break opportunity. And down inside, Laura Heibel blocks that shot to Grotenheis, tries a three-pointer and hits it. So with 440 left, it's 44-19. Uh, to 19. Inbounds pass to Madison Henning, and she's fouled as she takes the inbounds pass. She's going to come out, and Brooklyn Schneekloth is in for the Mustangs. Mia Graham across the timeline. A pass inside to Mariah Terhark. She's going to try a layup. She's uh, partially blocked, and that shot is no good. A pass up to Grotenheim, and she lost a lot of bounds. In the first line. Taylor Jack into the forest. And look. In this pass to J.D. John. Quickly ahead to come. Mia Graham going to try a two-pulse three pair. No good. Warrior down to the baseline. Falls on Claveringa and she was in the process of shooting so she'll be at the free throw line for two free throws. First throw. I'm going to shoot here for the Warriors. He's held. Given even A. Three throws up good J.C. Johnson. Great way to end it. Bound out we can have a Jason. Taylor Jumbeck will have a seat. Lexi Van Z working across the timeline. Warriors anyway. play. Ball. Substitution for the Mustang. JC Johnson coming out. Madison Henning going back into the lineup. Ball back out of bounds. Up. Last touch by the Mustangs. Warriors will inbound under their own basket again. And Ravensway drive it. Ball is ba uh, bounces out no good. And Mariah Terhark with the rebound. From the grid right her left. The shot is fully blocked. No good. The Warrior there with it. One a EAM and back by the Warrior. And we're going to try. Had a lot of momentum created and could not slow down in time. Brun Schneekloth out of the lineup. Keeley. Kylie Gherkin, rather, into the lineup for the Mustangs. 
Inbounds to Madison Henning. Drives it, it all the way. She's going to be called for a double dribble. The ball to the Warrior. Seven left. Yeah. That'll be a travel called on Haley Sitzman. Gonna have a 30 second timeout here by the Sioux Center head coach. We'll be back right after this quick message. You're going to talk about my hundred population. Don't. Would you prefer to park the skid loader outside so I can have a spot in the machine shed? Probably so, but me taking grit about our portable awesome need much a few of you know. Yes. So three to twenty. Who saw the can beat it? Twenty gram in lineup. Takes a Patterson hang. Patterson back to left. And she is fouled on the way to the basket. Like and E committing the foul. So we shooting two free throws here. A chance to cut into that lead. The first free throw is up. Rattles out. No good. <laughs> DeGroat and I is set to check in for Van Z for Sioux Center. Second free throw on the way. That one rattles out as well. Mia Graham back into the passing lane steals the the long fast break pass. A nice lob pass by Mia Graham to Mariah to her get back to the team. There's a lot of forty or two. There's a pass clear ahead of Tooks and Henny has to her to prevent a fast break layup. So Gross the end two opportunity there. Emily Grace free throw opportunity number two. Oh, that's good. Maitland extra checking in for okay. It costs two left in this the period. Things on play well defended by the Warriors. They're having a heyday on defense here. Full sure. And it results in a turnover here. The Warriors are gonna get the ball. Uh, last touch by the Mustangs. So the Warriors will inbound on the own basket. Gross tries to get it. it. Arch through it. Graham quickly across. Madison Henning. Bounce pass to Mia Graham. Mia on the right wing. Mariah Terhark to Madison Henning. To Mia Graham on the left side. No good. Miranda Dreesen with the rebound. Hands it off to Terhark underneath the basket. Those things are kind of clogged up underneath there, and that pass inside is so okay. The great nice footer off of a quick pass, turns around and hit it. Well, two baskets by Grotenheim. Bryant breaks it for the Mustangs, and the Dries off into the end of Dries. Their own red edge backward. Jeez, the back. Let's get the free throw line. Two. Fifth and half the clock. The free man hitting to come up. Any must. Actually, we're in. Second free throw is good. Rebound controlled by the Warriors. We have more hard to deal. And uh, that's a good, good hustle by Gray. We'll take down the okay. good red skin. Like that. Girl, Tedder behind. Deal. Uh, Chop it. Case. Quick at the right night. A sub pad to her. She's going to be makes the bad edge. Mariah Tarko, favorite target of the Mustang. She's in her own proof there. Kirsten Bucket, and the free throw is up and rattles no good. Come on, girl. Way open on the other end. But Katie to Groton High steals it away on the other end. And there's a Claiborne guy hits it at the buzzer for the Warriors. So Eddie DeBeer set to check in for the Mustangs. So 52 is. If you, Tony's will be back right after this message. Is a full hair salon with services, haircuts to person or call your call five major call sign three seven gray hip hot. The top is Jim Tester. Now find Frodo Dairy Road in the service you'd expect for your hometown grocery store. 
See the fine, friendly folks at your friendly hometown grocery, the Total Stop Food Store on Main Street in George. 4758, the top store. 2 3 at 9, square 3, out on the net, at the play, or lot, and rouge, right. control the wires. Go side it. Number 1 2, holes in it. Long sounds no good. Thank you, boss. Ball tipped out of bounds by Holstein. Break a spell away quick with number four. Bird. Could you break? I'm lots of attitude. He's a little degrading. So, Ray missed kind of scrap time. On base, we'll try a 12 foot. That's no rant. Decent. Knocks out of bounds. It'll last by the bangs. So, we're going to Clavering is going to be fouled in the process of shooting on the left block. So 5.39 left in the ball game, 54-28 in favor of the Warriors. And reaches by. Free is up. We have some substitutions here now. Plating Schultz is here. Ashley De Boer, great ball at the time. Tries a pass to Hennig. Tipped and gabs it. And the rebound goes to number 42. That's her quickly. Really replaced in the freshman game. There are ice and a shot throw for and for the Mustangs. Has it stolen away by Lexi Van Zee. Going to head all the way to the layup for the Warriors. Lead now. Steal on the end. It's shot as no it is. Be Mustangs. And that sounds a miss. Missed. So we're going to pick up sure at half court instead of full. A great push. And the symbols will be at the best. Both side the floor, both teams will be shooting a one and on the fouls. The Tatars then the team will have a double bonus. Laura Highbolt free throw is no good. Lexi Van Zee quickly ahead. It's the ball. And a drive to her left. And then Crover moved it to give the ball. There's a few money. The heck is that tip on Casey Harold to the Samantha Clark will have a seat. Out of bounds on the inbounds play. Stratman with it on the inbounds. Danny Deacon giving her run. That jump ball call. This she lost the handle just for a second. Schneider's going to fade her. Boris of two leader. Fifty-six. Kelly Gherkin set to check in for the Mustangs. The next available opportunity. There's a shot from the left wing. Will be Ralph rolls out of bounds. It's going to be last by the Mustangs. So the Warriors will inbound. Is it a three battles up? No good. What if you see this? It's map take. Did here, across the time for steps. Ended by Rahul. To take all down baseline and she's all. She kept an incremental A there with her ball and a feet forward. She struck on the processing, so she'll have free was. Battles at home. See the 29th. That is all. At the kitchen height. Back to the play deer at home as well. Madison Henning will come in for a jump back. So 321 left in the matchup. Stay with her, Stay with her, buddy. Good day to top of the key. Is that on the right side of the lane up and good? Mustang pass all on a way. Right, hold quickly, Ed, and she is foul. 
All the way to the basket. The shot is good. Smith Clark going to come back in. He Deacon out. Three foot player. Eddie DeBeer driving it to the foot. Jumps, jumps around. The jump out is no good, but she's fouled. Impressive. Cool. 65 to 31. Second free throw on the way, Maddie DeBeer. And that is no good. To grow nice, driving it into the lane, the layup is no good. Stratman with the rebound for the Mustangs. Maddie DeBeer driving it down the left side. Stops on the baseline. It's stolen away. We're going to have a ball. You see top. Danny can go try for the clock. D2 drafts it up. So that's me. We've got number four out. Then Glenn Lake and A. That one in the game. They corner up red. Rebuild it quickly. High. Who gathers? The layup is a little too strong. Schneekloth with the rebound. Has it tipped out of her hands. Last touch by the Warriors. So Maitland Dykes are across the timeline. Gonna set the offense. Pass inside to Stratman. Turn around jumper note off the glass. Too strong. And here come the Warriors with 38 seconds left. Hireman to Groat. Both to Groat and Heist. Girls are fit. Claire Courtlever back as well. Emily to Groat Heist drives to her left. Pass underneath. Nicely done by the Warriors. There to the basket. Seven seconds left. 69-33. The shot made by Bogue. So final score, 69 to 33. We'll be back right after this closing message. Thank you for listening to the GLR Radio Network. On behalf of the GLR Radio Network, I'd like to personally thank each of the sponsors of this radio broadcast for their assistance in bringing these games to you. Mustang Plumbing and Heating, Total Stop Food Store, Otter Valley Insurance and Real Estate, Northwest Consultants, The Flower Box and the Corner Cup, Dykstra Chiropractic, Hair Hut, Treat, Bent and Rare, Service, Lander Coffee House and Street, Security Savings Bank, Tier Bank, Suge Industries, Dual Lift, idepositchecks.com and Trialt. If you should broadcast, please let us know. See more for broadcast website www.youcanhear.us slash GLR. Again, you can hear us at you can hear us GLAs and Tethers. Just text GLR 7 and a link with the free mobile app will be on your phone right away. Again, just text GLR to 72727 for the free GLR radio app. Thanks also to the George Little Rock School for the opportunity to be the voice of the Mustangs and to bring this broadcast to you. Thanks again, and thanks for listening. Well, thank you indeed for listening. We're going to sign off now with the final score in the book, 69-33. to 33, Sioux Center Warriors victorious in the JV game. So thanks a lot for listening to the GLR Radio Network. Craig Johnson signing off. You're listening to the GLR Radio Network.